A long time ago, in a kingdom, there lived a young man who had a difficult life. He would go out every day to look for work, earn some money, and then come home to cook, eat, and sleep. One day, after searching for work without any success, he was walking home feeling disappointed. Just then, he heard a voice from behind asking him, Can I find any laborer here? He turned around and saw an old man standing there with three full bags. The young man replied, Yes, I can do the work. The old man said, I need to go to the next village, which is a little far from here. I can carry two bags myself, but the third one is too heavy for me. Can you carry this one? I will give you three gold coins for it. The young man agreed and picked up one bag. As soon as he did, he realized how heavy it was and said, This bag seems very heavy. The old man whispered in response, Yes, it is because it contains bronze coins. Despite the heavy load, the young man picked up the bag and started walking with the old man. While they walked, he noticed that the old man was keeping an eye on him. This led the young man to think, The old man probably thinks I might run away with the bag. However, I don't believe in dishonesty or theft. I am not going to betray his trust over some coins. I am only interested in earning my wage fairly. While walking, a river came into view. The young man immediately went into the water to cross the river, but the old man remained standing on the bank. The old man said, I am too old. I cannot manage to carry two bags through this river. If I try, I might drown. Can you carry one more bag with you? Don't worry about the pay. I will give you three more gold coins. The young man agreed. As he went to pick up another bag, the old man hesitated and said, But promise you won't run away with this. The young man asked, Why would I run away? The old man replied, Whom can we trust these days? There are silver coins in this bag. The young man responded, Do I look like a thief or a dishonest person? Don't worry. I am not someone who cheats out of greed. Give me the bag. Saying this, the young man picked up the second bag and crossed the river. Even silver coins could not deter him from his honesty. After walking for a while, they reached a hill. The young man began to slowly climb it, but the old man stopped at the foot of the hill. Seeing this, the young man called out, Come, why did you stop? The old man replied, I am too old. I can't walk properly. It is difficult to climb this hill with this bag. The young man said, Okay then, give me that bag. I will carry it for you. The old man hesitated and said, But there are gold coins in it. If you run away with them, I am an old man. I can't even chase after you. The young man raised his voice slightly and said, I have already told you, I am not that kind of person. I work as a laborer because I value honesty. I used to be a bookkeeper for a money lender. He pressured me to cheat people by making false accounts, but I refused and had to quit my job. The old man was still doubtful, but responded, I don't know whether you are telling the truth or not. Anyways, come and pick up this bag of gold coins as well. I will follow you at my own pace. You can go ahead and then wait for me on the other side. The young man picked up the bag and continued on his way, leaving the old man behind. As he walked, he thought, If I run away with these three bags, the old man won't be able to catch me, and I will become rich forever. Then he thought, This old man is too old. What will he do with so much money? He does not have much life left. But I am young. If I have this money, then I will be wealthy. I could marry a beautiful woman, and my life would be easier. With money, I will have respect, luxury, and comfort. Tempted by these thoughts, he decided to run away with the three bags. He started running breathlessly with the three bags. After running for some time, he finally reached his home and opened the bags. But he was shocked to see that there were no gold or silver coins in the bags. They contained only small stones. He wondered why the old man had lied to him and why he needed to do such a drama. As he opened the bag, the young man noticed a piece of paper. He picked it up and began to read. The message on the paper was, I am the king of this kingdom. I have no heir, 
and I am growing old, so I have been searching for an honest person to adopt as my child and successor. If you had not run away, you could have been that person. Reading this, the young man was crushed by regret and remorse. All his life, he had been honest. He had no intent to betray the old man. If he had ignored the fleeting thoughts of his mind, he could have been the successor of the king today. But a moment's lapse into those thoughts led him to make a decision that betrayed his values and cost him an opportunity he would never have again. The story of the young man and the old man illustrates the power of thoughts and the profound impact of our thoughts on our life. It clearly shows us how our thoughts can shape our destiny. In this story, the young man, who was an honest person, let harmful thoughts take over his mind and did something that was against his principles. A thought came to his mind that if he ran away with all the wealth, the old man wouldn't be able to chase after him. It would have been better if he had stopped his thoughts there. However, he continued to think that running away with the money would make him very rich. His life would be very comfortable. He would marry a beautiful woman and live a happy life. The chain of thoughts progressed further, and eventually, greed took over his mind, prompting him to run away with all three bags. This shows how quickly a negative thought can change our life. It is a reminder of how important it is to always be aware of what we are thinking. Buddha always used to say that our biggest enemy cannot harm us as much as our unguarded thoughts. According to Buddha, every action starts with a thought. Our thoughts turn into words, our words turn into actions, our actions become habits, and our habits decide our destiny. Therefore, to avoid falling into negative thinking, it is important to keep a check on our thoughts and think positively. By keeping an eye on our thoughts and aiming to think positively, we can guide our lives in a better direction. When we monitor our thoughts, we can control our minds and avoid making decisions that we might regret later. As we go through the complex journey of life, it is important to carefully manage our thoughts. Our thoughts are like seeds that can grow into our destiny. By nurturing them wisely, we can ensure a bright future filled with peace and happiness. Thank you for joining me on this journey of embracing simplicity and finding the true essence of life. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more thought-provoking content and please share to one person you love the most. In last, I just want you to say, climb higher, aim higher, with a rise aspire.